it is time. We are ready for semi-final number one. It's the Ocean Delight, cook like a gourmet chef, only on Copper Joe. We started with eight competitors. Yep, we're down to the final four. Four ladies battling for one exclusive, all expenses paid a trip to either Antigua or St. Lucia. Let's meet our first semi-finalist. Samantha Romero, come on down. <laughs> Semi-finalist number two, Zahira Haru, come on down. Samantha versus Zahira. This morning, they will be doing battle. Kingfish, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? When we come back, these ladies battle it out in the best kingfish dish that they can plate in front of Chef Miles. Cook Like a Gourmet Chef is brought to you by Ocean Delight. Honestly, I feel overwhelmed and excited, you know, just to be a part. Definitely um, shock myself into region so far, right? And win a trip. You know, all expense trip, trip like my anniversary is coming up. So perfect timing to win a trip. That's right, she is back. Samantha Romero, our first semi-finalist this morning inside Cook Like a Gourmet Chef with Ocean Delight. And guess who else is back? Miles Ooh. Marbella. <laughs> Welcome back, my lady. Oh my gosh, I'm glad to be back. Are you ready I'm for excited. battle? Kingfish. Kingfish. I'm very excited. Kingfish, what, what, what excites you about Kingfish? Well, Kingfish itself is very flavorful and very fatty, so I'm so excited how they're going to um, uh, you know, cook it. Kingfish is probably one of the most popular fishes in Trinidad and yeah, widely used across, across so true. For every single dish. Curry, everything. Everything, stew curry, yeah. everything, everything. So this morning, guys, let us now officially welcome uh, Semi-finalist number one, Samantha Romero. Welcome back, my lady. Glad to be back. Are you ready? Yes, I am. So, you know the rules. You know how it goes here. Yes. You have 10 minutes to roll out your dish, prepare, and plate for Chef Miles. Yes. You are being judged once again on taste, presentation, and creativity. This morning, please tell us what you're doing for us. So, today, I'm making stew kingfish in coconut milk mm. and my family's secret fry plantain. Oh, there's a, there's a secret fry plantain. Yes, Are you going to tell us the secret? Nope, it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a secret, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> you could, she could come on TV and keep it a secret? Yes. That's why she said it's a family secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I clearly did not get that. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Ten minutes on the clock, please. And Samantha is doing a traditional stewed fish. Let's hope that dish takes you all the way to the final. A place of the final is up for grabs. Samantha, your 10 minutes starts now. <coughs> stewed kingfish and coconut milk. So stewed kingfish, I mean, Samantha has gone pretty traditional. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, I think, probably the most popular dish uh, done with Kingfish in Trinidad. Yeah. How you like to cook your kingfish? I like it stewed as well, actually. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I was in a competition, Samantha, if I was going to stew it. Here. Yeah. Were you concerned at all, Samantha, that that was a, too much of an ordinary dish? It touches home. You know, as much as I want to be really creative, I want to do something that I've grown up eating all the time from both my mom and my grandmother because they would have impacted, you know, that kit, that cooking skills onto me. So I want to do something for them, you know. Let's just say in worst case scenario, I don't make it to the finals. At least I showcase something that they have taught me growing up. Is that regular green seasonings? It's green seasoning spices, different spices. It's a matter seasoning. Mm -hmm. Improved though. Improved. Two point, yeah, 2.0. <laughs> We're like so close to all my, the finals, girl. Mm -hmm. 
you're gonna carry your husband. Yeah. Um, our anniversary is around that time. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. So getting all the vegetables in a pot. Everybody really has a different way of doing kingfish. So someone to tell me a little bit about this secret. I'm not going to tell you, Joe. I'm sorry. This, it's, this secret is a new sauce. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it, is it, the planting is not looking very right. It's... It's right? Um, not fully right. Not fully right, then. yes. So that is like part of the secret. Yes. It can't be fully right. No. You're getting But then it'll, it'll, it'll fall apart and it'll, you know, it won't taste good. You know, you know, people like to burn plantain and turn that. Oh yes, I like burnt plantain. Okay, so I'll burn two for you. No, <laughs> no, no, not with flour. <laughs> <laughs> So Samantha has two things happening at the same time. She's working on that secret fried plantain and her stew fish is working. Time management, Miles, proves so crucial so far in the competition. I'm hoping that Samantha is watching and, and trying to make sure that her time How long will your fish normally take to stew, Samantha? <laughs> Let's hope today it takes 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Good answer. What is that? <laughs> it's a secret sauce, Miles. It's a secret sauce. Good. Everything has a secret <laughs> here, boy. What is this? Well, we need to know some of the secrets, Miles. You know? <laughs> Everything can't be a secret here. Oh. The fish does look good. It, it does. So this really isn't an ordinary stewed fish, it's, it's, it's coconut stewed fish. Where are you from, Samantha? San Juan. San Juan. Oh, this is a San Juan stew kingfish. <laughs> okay? This is San Juan. San, a San, Juan. San Juan. A, a yeah. San Juan kingfish. San Juan, yes. Yeah. She's from Sawa. <laughs> Samantha, you now have five minutes left. You now have five minutes left. Place in the final is up for grabs, ladies and gentlemen. Samantha Romero, just a couple steps away from winning that grand prize of an all expenses paid trip to either St. Lucia or Antigua. Her choice. Samantha, just curious. I mean, if you do win the competition, where are you going? St. Lucia or Antigua? Um, I'm going to St. Lucia. Uh -huh. Yes. Why St. Lucia? Because I think they have like the most beautiful beaches. So. so you already planned this thing out already, huh? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, it be a nice experience. Because I love the beach. Who doesn't love the beach? I'm just going to put one more ingredient. <laughs> is it a secret? No, no, no. Because oh, everything uh, is a secret. Uh, uh, something, <laughs> something that we don't really have on this show. Sometimes. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> some of them jokes. Some of them jokes. <laughs> so some fine time. I, re I love fine time. Yeah. It's a lot better than parsley. Yeah, As yeah. Chef Maya say, parsley. <laughs> yeah, those things are better in, um, in the food, you know, not on top of the food. You want me to plant? Want me to plant? I like the fact that Samantha placed her herbs in last. I think that's a very important cooking technique sometimes. It is, um, yes, yeah, so, so, so you can boil yeah. that lovely flavor just at the end. Mm -hmm. that, the aroma and everything. everything yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Samantha, what I have to tell you that after the time went into the pot, you now only have two minutes left on your time. Two minutes left.
looks good, man. Looks really good. It looks really good. Yeah. Let's hope it's cooked. I think you're fed up with raw fish, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds left, Samantha. 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Samantha Romero, take a breath. <laughs> take a breath. I think time management is definitely key. For cooking under, well, in 10 minutes, you know, so I'm 99% I'm sure I'm going to execute this to the best of my ability. Right, so let's try your canned fish. It looks really good, by the way. Thank you. It looks like um, I'm home. The canned fish looks like it's cooked. It is good. <laughs> Wow, that was really good. Whoa. Yeah, that was really good. Good reaction by Chef Miles Full Stop. That was very flavorful. Let me try your uh, my secret uh, plantain family thing. <laughs> <laughs> your fish <laughs> the, the lime really added um, a very refreshing taste to it it's very tender I love uh, not. I love it I love the flavor and everything great job thank you Miles, tell, tell us quickly a lot of times uh, viewers would have seen you smell before you taste or smell while you're tasting explain that well, you know, um, you smell before you eat because it will open your appetite. At least uh, your senses, your glands will expect what you have to um, take. Mm, so what you're about yeah, to, take, to yeah. smell first and then, mm -hmm. and, and then. All right, Samantha Romero, thank you very much. You seem to have impressed Chef Miles, and that is not easy to do. While Chef Miles continues a tasting, let's see if Samantha's dish is good enough to take her all the way to the final. In her way, is the youngest competitor in this competition still left standing. Zahira Haru is just 17 years old and she's up next. 